making allegations relative to this Odinism. Two ways to look at that. One, does it just kind of raise a doubt as to what's really going on here, right? And that's a tactic that is used by criminal defense attorneys in every criminal case that we cover, right? There's some way that they're trying to, you know, we say muddy the waters, right? That's one way to look at what we're gonna go through tonight. The other way to look at it is, is this the truth? Is this what really happened? Is an innocent man being charged with murder? Now, from my perspective, especially at this point of everything, actually all the time, I'm, I'm concerned with what the truth is. What is the truth? So we're gonna go through this Odinism to figure out what exactly it means relative to the truth. Not like, oh, yeah, it could really you know, mess up the prosecution. No, no, tonight we're gonna try to figure out the relationship of what they are alleging to the truth of what happened to these two girls. And this is a, it's a horrific case, we know that. This is terrible, terrible what happened to Libby and Abby. Um, the murder scene was strange. There were things at this murder scene that were a little bizarre. This is what I was talking about in the perhaps video I posted staged, just a couple days original. ago. Whatever it was, this when was I was saying the bodies, the positioning, the trees, and I was saying all those saying, words like really oddly, I didn't want to go into detail. But it's, and I knew TikTok wouldn't approve of that, but the, the this right here explains it pretty well. And the body is just left wherever it was. There, there was there's a reason that, that they that were found the way they were. And it's more afterwards. than just some creepy guy. Like clothing, all of it. It, it was, in my opinion. It was strange. And the question is, what's the significance of all that? We're gonna die. Take a look. And then we're everything see, that look. is found at the crime scene, anyone. like the lettering and stuff, it's all Odinism, like alphabet, and what like circumstances surrounding yeah. those people that have the defense alleging that Richard Allen is innocent and these other people are guilty of this horrific murder. And then we've got to take a look at what's happening in that prison where he's being held. He's alleging that he's got some prison guard pagans who are practicing Odinism. That it's it's not just the murder scene, it's the murder scene, it's the killers, and it's and it's the people who are guarding him inside the prison. So we're learning more this week. We've got to take some of these pieces and, and figure out, you know, is it a case where there's like a like just a little, little trace of truth to it and then it's kind of being expanded out or is there something to this because again this is a case it took five years to, to, to get to this point what? for the for mom, arrest mom but now the defense has turned around and said well wait a minute this is com something completely different so let's begin at the prison because this is the latest stuff uh and information that we've gotten because we've got a response uh, from the prosecution and the prison guards I'm themselves. recording your we're so talking the defense about. in the memorandum is alleging that members of a pagan Norse religion, Odinism, predates Christianity, um, hijacked by white nationalists. So it's, it's an actual religion, but it's been hijacked by white nationalists who ritualistically sacrificed Abigail Williams and Liberty German. That is clear. That's what their allegation is. That's who did it. The evidence shows that during his pretrial incarceration at the Westfield Correctional Facility, Richard Allen has been monitored, intimidated, and mentally abused by correctional officers who are also members of the Odinite cult. Well, how would he know that? Here's the allegation. These Westfield Corrections officers boldly wore patches on their Department of Corrections uniforms that proclaimed in Odin we trust, along with another patch displaying symbols of Odinism, the interlocking triangles. Big allegation, right? On their uniforms, they are wearing these Odinist symbols and being very bold about it. So what was the response from the prosecution and from those 
prison guards. We've got that for you tonight. The state's response was, and again, we're not naming any of the corrections officers here, that both Sergeant X and Sergeant X have worn patches that refer to Odinism. That those patches reflect that Sergeant Unnamed and Sergeant Unnamed's religious beliefs are not associated Ooh, so it's true. with any kind It's of not even a lie. They actually did wear it. That means they actually do so believe in Odinism, which means that... Oh, my God. Now, affidavit from each of these correctional officers. We begin with number one. Um, I have been an acting supervisor in APOD, where the defendant is housed since late February, early March 2023, that I do not practice Odinism, and that Norse paganism heathenry is my practicing religion. So it, it's a different form of paganism. I guess Nordic, because it's Norse, right? Heathenry, not Odinism. I don't know the difference. I'm sure there probably is a difference. You know, there's a difference between Roman Catholics and Greek Orthodox and other types of Christians. I get it. Um, but it's still interesting. Now, well, in the state's response, they claimed they didn't deny it, and they said it was Odinism. They didn't say it was heathenry. Who practices Norse and Norse paganism, Norse paganism heathenry. heathenry. They said it was Odinism. The patches are real. Yeah, the patches are real. That's friggin' crazy. But I actually thought they might have been just lying about it. I am not part of a radical hate group. Well, that means you are I part of a cult a there, Bubby. The That's what Odinism is. Correctional officer number two. Which is what paganism is, is, basically. I do wear patches on my uniform that can be, but are not associated with Odinism. Can be? So it's an Odinistic patch. Yeah, you can, you can well, the state has done and said, patch. yeah, it, they do. And they do right, practice it. Someone was wearing um, a, a cross, you could say, well, it's a T. Too little, too late there, Bubby. That the patches pay the utmost respect to my religious higher power, the same way a Christian person would wear a cross. There you go. Okay. How about that, folks? How about that? Let's bring in my guests joining me tonight. Okay, you guys, so there you have it. Um, there's two ways to look at this. Of course, the state wants you to believe that Richard Allen is guilty of this and that, you know, um, there's nothing to this Odinism that these guards, yeah, they did wear these um, patches, which I'm actually extremely surprised that that's even true. And because that's true, it leads me to be even more like leaning towards that being a real like situation that that happened um because richard allen wasn't lying about these officers that work at his prison and practice odinism and we already know that i mean no matter what at that scene there was stuff that points to odinism so what are we even talking about? You know, why did this police, seriously, they had all this evidence and the FBI even said that it looked like Odinists were responsible. And um, there's this like mystery professor, they say, that said, no, it wasn't them. And so that's all they needed, really? But you know, they go all in on Richard Allen because there was a shell that was buried in the dirt and it was just spent like a shell that just like fell out of his gun wasn't shot nothing and it was buried in that dirt and it just so happened to be between those girls and um he had been out there walking but he walked there a lot what if that poor man has been like tortured by these guys and they're responsible or what if um their group is responsible i don't know i mean i'm just saying this is all alleged um, I'm not accusing anyone. I'm just talking. What are your thoughts? What do you think? Do you think it's Odinists? Are you also leaning towards this more and more as we learn more? Let me know in the comments. Please make sure you're following me. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Well, yeah, actually, you can subscribe to me now on here. Mm -hmm. Moving on up. Um, and 